Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. Before we get started with this one, make sure to please drop a like on the video for some good luck for AMC. If you're ready for some new all-time highs like I am, make sure to please drop a like on the video. Alright guys, a little bit past halfway through the trading day and AMC is looking very, very decent so far today. Up 2.6%, not all that much volume as of yet. This of course is following yesterday's surge when we, when we saw AMC rocket up like 15% yesterday towards the end of the day. So who knows, maybe we're getting a little bit of consolidation and maybe later on today we'll see some more action. First off, five reasons why it's better that the squeeze was delayed. Number one, you would have sold for 1,000. Number two, you can buy more shares before we squeeze. Number three, you've learned more about finance in just months than most people learn in their lifetimes. Number four, you experience firsthand how twisted the mainstream media is and how not to trust them. And number five, the friends we've made along the way. I honestly love this post and I want to break down a few of these that I think are actually really, really true. First off, number one, you would have sold for $1,000. So let's just say right when we got into this AMC play, let's say you bought into AMC at 12, 24, 36, whatever you might have bought into it at. If it would have squeezed right away, went up to 1,000 and then dropped right back down or something, let's say just in the matter of days, AMC all of a sudden started squeezing, the short interest was going lower and lower and the shorts, let's say, were covering their positions. You and I most likely would have been much, much more apt to sell a lot earlier. But since the short squeeze has been delayed for so long, and since we have been doing so much more DD, so much has been uncovered over the past months, I can only speak for myself, I don't know about you guys, but this has given me so much more confidence in this play. I even said this on a previous video, it doesn't really matter what AMC does you know, throughout the days, I really believe in the play and I'm not going to sell until the short squeeze is completely over. And next up, I'm not good at math, but these figures don't add up. So we are just going to act like Citadel didn't file a 13F with 6 million call options, which represent 600 million shares, when we all know AMC has 513 million shares. Never mind that CEO Adam said the retail is holding 80% of those shares. Like, what in the actual at Gary Gensler? And sure enough, you see it right down here. This is the 13F for Citadel. Around 6 million call options. And lastly, guys, the short interest report for October 1st. Short interest is at 20.65%, utilization 85.41, and shares on loan 114.57 million. I do think we are going to see a little bit more covering sometime soon here because they're going to want to keep the short interest below 20. But if you want to stay up to date with everything else that's going on with AMC, because trust me, there's a lot more to go through, make sure to please subscribe to my channel with notifications turned on so you never miss out on a video. Also, drop a like in this video for some good luck moving forward for AMC. And lastly, go to the second link down below in my description and join my private exclusive Discord server. Thanks as always, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.